Hello, everybody. It's dark and it's night number two. Where are we, Pete? Do you know where we are? It's Costa Karma. No, it's no. not Costa Karma. No, I forgot. <laughs> You've forgotten. We are at Tarahaleko. Um, Tarahaleko is one of the spots, one of the original spots. One of the original spots that produces very big fish. Um, it's a big sandy beach, black sand, volcanic sand, um, and it can produce big stingrays, big butterfly rays. Um, it can produce uh, angel sharks, milk sharks, hammerheads have been caught here, big gilt heads, um, bluefish, the lot. So on its day, when it's fishing, we could get a good fish. You uh, you yeah. want one of them, wouldn't you? I would like one. You would like one. He'd like one. I lost them. one today. <laughs> he did lose a good fish earlier. So I got well, over that. <laughs> he's over it now. We're going to go down there now. Just get the stuff out of the car. Walk 50 yards across the walkway to the beach and set up and get fishing. Yeah, we've been a long way out as well, I think. Yeah. Alright, let me have a couple of spikes. Just take those and... So if we put the big rods on the outside? Yeah. Yeah. Voila. Right. Let's get the big boy set up first and get a bait out. This is what we are doing. Right, we are going with a big Pretty rig. What we've got, let go back in there. We've got a pulley rig here, 100 pound fluoro. And on this, I've got. Got a large power swivel, big power swivel to hold the weight of this if we get into a big fish. I don't want to have pulley beads here or anything. They're not strong enough. So it's a big power swivel. Let's get this clipped on the rod. There we go. Big sardine. We're not putting that out, we're taking the tail off like that. And we're going to take that in half. I'm putting that whole tail on. There it is in my hand. So I'm going to go through the bait here. Try not to rip the bait. I've obviously hit the spine there. Come on. No, that's through the bait. And I want that to sit there like so. In there. Out the bottom. And round. There that is. And this one. Just above where that was. That'll do that, like so. Voila. 
let's bait elastic that on like so in this nice and neatly bait elastic keeping that hook down flush working my way up this bait like so now these are black magic hooks on here so sharp these hooks and there we go now the reason for the 100 pound fluoro is to hopefully land me a bluefish bluefish have very sharp teeth but they shouldn't go through a hundred pound i've had things go through a hundred pound but if it's hooked right in the mouth should be all right but i wouldn't go any lighter than a hundred on your hook length because a bluefish will go through it there we have it lovely bit of sardine on there neatly wrapped we're going to clip that down and that is ready to go so let's get this out now Remember, that's that's the way that the bait should go out, shouldn't it? But right. So that's the way your hooks want to be lying like that, Pete. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So this one. What bring this, through the plate underneath the eye socket. Yeah. This one goes through the plate. Yeah. Like Maybe behind it a bit, right there. Through the gill, back at, at the outside. Right the way through. Yeah. Take her through. Yeah. Move this one out of the way. It. Right. Come down towards the other end. This end. And yeah. then you reverse it like that. That's right, mate. And then you want to bring it through. Through there if you can. I do. Yeah, there you come. That's it. Right. Put it round. That's like it. That. Yeah, and pull that tight. Pull that tight so it's all nice and lined up. And then pull this down, Pete. Like that. Yeah. And then that just wants to go just through there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, mate. And then bait elastic it on. Thank you. Okay, yeah. mate. Nice big chunks prawn on here. There has some been some very, very good white fish caught off this beach. They don't tend to come in in numbers, but the odd one and two is all I need. It's bait elastic on just in case there's some tiny little nuisance Pandoras or something about, or little fry. Tide is still quite a way out. So, uh, oh, oh, Pete's bite alarm is just sitting out on his rod. That made me go. Right. So, 
what we have here in front of me is the two up flapper that I've been using and a 150 and we're just going to launch this now see if we can find some uh, feeding shoals of bream or gill heads let's have a look let's get this out Oh, go on. Bite on the scratching reed. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Come on. Yeah, we got him. What's this? There's something on here. Oh, has he just come off then? Like it come off then. Let's see. Oh no. We've got something here. What have we got on this? Now this is what's good with scratching. It will keep you busy. Hopefully. Waiting for that big bite. And you never know on this could easily get a three, four pound fish. Or even bigger. What have we got here? What have we got here? It's not big. It's a tiddler. Has he just come off? I think he's just come off. No, he hasn't. Oh my God, it's tiny. Oh, it's another species, but not the species I want. We're into a bogger. Look at that. Bogger. Now this is one of the best bait fish for live baiting around here. Uh, putting it under a float. I don't want him. Not now. I was hoping it was a bream. He can go back. Let's get him back. That's not good, Pete. <laughs> Got bites again, are they bogger? I feel them biting around. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Now that feels boggerish again. A bit too light. I think I'm going to leave the next one to fly over. I think that's come off as well. Yeah, it's come off. Oh no, no it hasn't. What is it? Oh, it's not a bogger. What have we got this time? We have got a very tiny, I think that's an auxiliary bream. Let's get him back. Cast this out, literally. And they are straight on it. It's teeming with fish out there. Tiddlers. Just want a big one. Yeah. 
Come on. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Good fish on here. Is that a double header? That feels better. There's a maybe two on here. Let's see what's going on here. A better fish. Better fish on here. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Come on. Come on. Where are you? Oh, it's two. We got two. What have we got on here? Right, so we got two fish here. On the top, we've got a tiny auxiliary bream. There. And on the bottom, We've got, oh, an okay, but not big, stripe bream. So the auxiliary bream can go back. But I'll show you the stripe bream. So there we go. That is a stripe bream, not to be confused with the white bream that I caught last night. This is a lot longer body. The white bream has a nice uh, dot at the tail, black, and there's, there's less stripes that are more bolder. And that's a rounder fish. The white bream is round, this stripe bream is long, with uh, the mouth pointing down. So there we go. We've got a striped bream. We'll put him back in a minute. Here we go. We've got a big fish on here. It's screaming off. Look at that going. That is stripping line. So, here we go. Yeah, we're into something and it's big. He's big. Whoa, 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 he's running. Yeah, bring, him, bring the scratching rod in, Pete. We're into a big rate. I don't know how big yet. Maybe not as big as I thought. Whoa, come on. Come on. Oh, what have we got here? Just loosen that drag a little bit. He's coming your way, Pete. Let's get on my ass because this is big. Right, we'll get Pete. Pete will get that in. My scratching rod. Let's see what we can do here. Right, Pete. Do you want to get that ca camera, mate? Come on. Whoa! He's going. Oi! There we go. Whoa! He's not happy. Whoa! He's screaming line off here. This is a big ray. Well, it's not on, mate. This is a big ray. Yeah, come on, in a minute. Right. This is a big ray on here. Come on. 
pile it. He's going around your way, mate. But no, no, yeah, he's not going that way, mate. This is a big fish. Come on. Hello, can you see? What? I've got a very, very big fish on here. I'm sat on my arse and my rod is up there. I've got a... Whoa! I've got a big fish. It's a big fish. Whoa, here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes, look at that. Here he goes. Look at the reel going. This has gone off. Yeah, it's still recording, mate. Just tap the screen. Come back. Yep. Right, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Right, mate, I'll get your edge on the trawl in here. Okay, I'll turn, shall I turn my head to the trough? Yeah, it probably pipes. You get some of the quality of the picture now. Well, we're over under a pound this one, which is nice. Just keep an eye on your rod, Pete. Every now and again. Oh, yes, mate, for a bit. If you can, if you're alright. Yeah, no. There's movement. It's definitely a right. There he goes. Yeah, are you picking all that up? Well, I'm trying to. Can you get the bend and everything? Like, does it show up? It doesn't, not really. Well, if it doesn't, try not to get too much of it, mate. Oh. It might not do that again, mate. No, Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a shame really because like he does, cast a light over you. What does? I don't know if it's these. Well they're, that's what they're lighting it up, Pete. Yeah, okay. No? Well it just starts a big beam on you. That's your head torch, mate. Is that better? Sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> no, that's the quality of my mate. So when it goes, just tap the screen again.
Yeah, this is a big boy and he's, he's now deciding to sit. So, not a lot I can do when he's like this. I don't want to snap him off. Come on. He will come. Right, well, we'll check back in a few minutes. Been another, what, what has it been, Pete? 10 minutes? Yeah, it's good 10 minutes. Good 10 minutes sitting here. Slowly gaining on it. I don't want to put too much drag on it. Don't want to put too much drag on it. He rather give. What, just give up? No, yeah, he'd give up and I'll get start gaining on him like now. Yeah. Here we go, come on. Here he comes. We've got him moving. Oh, and then that's what he does. Oh, oh he's stripping line. He's not happy. What? Look at that. Oh, all that work. <laughs> Undone. All that work undone. Come on, mate. This is a big fish. Big fish. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Um. Come on. Yes, come on. What do you reckon, Pete? 20 minutes so far? 25 minutes? Five. He's kiting around your way. Yeah, he is. I don't know how far out he is. Have a look, Pete. What does he look like to you? Right away. Still a distance. Just what I want to hear. He's coming though, mate. He is moving. I'm gaining on him. Well, we're gaining on this. Pete's going down the other way and getting his rod in because this is kiting. I don't want to get up yet because this has still got some power. So I'm going to bring it as close as I can. He is really kite in that way. He's going, here he goes, here he goes. I think he's losing his energy. Oh, come on. Oh. Wrist. See if you can film it. It's coming. Come on. Come on, baby.
Whee! It's about 10 yards. Come on. Oh, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. On oh, these waves. These waves should help me get this boy in. Or girl. Come on. Come on. She's nice. Go on. There she goes again. She is a big rough tail, I think. Big rough tail ray. Right. Well. I don't know if I'm going to get this moving on my own. Let's get set way up. Come on. Come on, mate. stuck in there this one come on come on go on, go on. come on I'm not walking in that walk where I can't see it I need it in a little bit more She is holding there, and I'm not walking in there when I can't see the tail. So, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Oh, she's going again, come on. On this wave, come on. It's a big rough tail, big rough tail ray. That's got some weight to it. Yeah, it's got stinger, mate. Rough tail stinger, eh? It's got a rough tail stinger, eh? Big stinger. He's well over 100. Well over 100. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a couple of snaps of him. And then that, we'll go back. He has given me a good hour workout. Oh. He is very, very hefty. Here it is, rough tail ray. Lovely. Over 100 pound that is. Or on 100 pound. Let's see if we can get him back. Right, just slid that ray back in. And it swam off somewhere into the depths. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna have a rest up. Pete's gonna get his rod back out. Let's see if he can get one. Woo! Right, cheers, Pete. Thanks, mate. That was hard going, wasn't it? Woo. Well, after all that, oh blimey, I'm coughing away. After all that, you've got your rod back out, Pete, haven't you? So, I think that's been probably about, your rod's probably been out over an hour, isn't it? Right, so there we have it. The dongle rig is on, clipped up, 
squid on there. We're going to get him out now, see if we can pick up anything different. And I'm not going far with this. And through about 50 yards. You all right, Pete? Yeah. Whoa! That's a bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed it. What's that? That's something going for it. Oh, mate, what is that? That is thumping it over, whatever that is. Right, well, I'm missing rattles, so let's bring this in. Get rebated up, because they were big rattles. I have been stripped, I think, methinks. Let's get this back in. Seems very light. What's going on here? Well, there's still a bit of bait. Yeah, grip that off. Let's get some more bait on. Unfortunately, it has gone extremely quiet. So we are going to call it an evening. Um, we know all too well we could sit here till four or five in the morning and not get another bite. So we're going to pack up now, head back, Get ready for the next session tomorrow.